Hi everyone, I'm Kajira Subramani, uh, here to promote her paper Discovering and Measuring Sebum Prone to Domain Fronting. Um, this is a collaborative work between me and my colleague from Georgia Institute of Technology and University of Georgia. So domain fronting itself is a well-known technique. This has been around since 2017, uh, whose purpose is to mask true endpoints in network communication. It works by leveraging shared hosting platforms, for instance CDNs, or content delivery networks, which allows them to share their infrastructure between multiple domains. So from a network administrator point of view, uh, while they're monitoring the communications, the communications would appear to go to a specific domain, whereas in the background, the communication actually, the endpoint is a different domain, which is hidden from the network administrators. Technically, it works by providing different domain names and different layers of network communications, for instance, by modifying, by using the SNI parameter and the HTTP host parameter, um, domain fronting can be performed. It has multiple use cases, for instance, it could be used in networks or uh, countries that uses censorship to bypass, to block certain services, domain fronting could be used to uh, bypass these blocks. Unfortunately, it could also be used for more malicious purposes where um, the actors could use it to hide their command and control traffic, uh, which makes it more difficult for the network administrators to monitor these malicious activities and mitigate them. The motivation for our work stems from investigating the extent of domain fronting in the wild. Despite existing mitigation measures that are taken by popular services such as Google, Amazon, Microsoft, um, for example, uh, we try to attempt to answer the research questions, do popular CDNs block domain fronting and is it consistent throughout their entire infrastructure? Are there more or less popular CDNs that do not block domain fronting at all? And in case of these CDNs, are there any, or do they serve any popular legitimate domains that can be abused as friend domains? Uh, here, just a simple overview of our system. Uh, where we start with the discovery domain discovery component, which basically leverages DNS data, which is readily available to a actor through passive DNS or publicly available active DNS records to find the mapping between CDNs and domains. So unlike previous works where you'll have to register, uh, manually register new domains with CDNs to test for domain fronting, we use the existing customer's domain, we gather that information to perform these tests. Then we gather more uh, information about the resources that are required for performing tests. Finally, our fronting tester component would craft specific requests, which is going to test and validate the domain fronting um, in a particular CDN. So these are our results. Overall, we found domain fronting to be feasible in 22 out of 30 CDNs that we tested.